Hello, welcome to Fitness Podcast with Z. I am Z. Let's go. <laughs> shots are fired. Okay, no more firing of any shots, guys. I I think that I think it's not a good thing. I think it's not a good thing uh, because sometimes uh, it hurts other kids, you know. And even though most of the time the intention is never to to attack anybody but most of the time if you start talking and 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 whatever it is and it you i should also consider how other people are going to feel about it because at kobeleni as much as we want to tell the truth we want to say things as they are i think it helps because they may not feel what we are feeling they may not understand the way we do so as much as we will still continue talking the truth but we should also consider abanyabantu welcome to fitness podcast with mz i am z we are on episode 16 wow so today i decided that we're going to talk about let's just talk about components of fitness and then and then link them up and try to bring them to to cardio box and and my preparation was very basic for this one. I did not write everything. I decided that most of the stuff should come when I'm sitting here talking to you guys. And and, and I will just share uh, from here again. And, and I just uh, made sure that at least we've got a bit of structure. That was what my preparation was all about. Okay. So... Let's go to components of fitness, right? So there are different components of fitness and there are two groups of components of fitness. Let's start. The first one is going to be the health related components of fitness. Okay. So components of fitness before, before I go far would be those things that make up fitness, those types of fitness. When you are doing fitness, what exactly are you doing? When Zaliana, when Zintuetile, when Zintuetile, which are those things I'm about, who is that this The first one said there are two groups. The first one is health related, and then the second one is skill related, or they call it neuromuscular system. So, health related, what are those ones? The first one is going to be strength. Amandlang is cause. So, strength is the ability to, to push against to contract for your muscles to contract against resistance so your example will be lifting lifting weights on the floor that is strength right and then um, i've got a bit of flu <coughs> i've got a bit of flu guys uh, you know every time when i'm training when i start a program i always get sick and, and I've made a decision that now I'm not going to stop because over the years, every time I got sick, I would stop training. So now I'm not going to stop. So strength is that lifting weights is an example of strength. Then you've got endurance. Endurance is an ability to do something for a protracted period, for a, a long period of time, right? So with endurance, you've got two types. You've got cardiorespiratory and muscular endurance. So cardio will be the training of the heart. Muscular endurance will be the contraction and extending of muscles over a period of time. Then after that, you've got flexibility. Oh, an example of endurance would be running. Cardio box is another example of endurance. Then you go to flexibility. Flexibility, we call it a range of motion, ran ROM. So it's the ability for a joint to go fully on the range that is made to do, right? So sometimes during, if your muscles are not flexible enough, you'll find that your range of motion is shortened, especially on your hamstrings, uh, on the inside of your 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 your, the, <laughs> your leg what are these muscles on the inside of the thigh they call them your adductors yeah because you adduct with them you bring them bring something in so when you are stretching them you take them the opposite direction 
and let's move on and then we've got now the skill related skill related you get agility agility will be or oh, the example of flexibility a class would be yoga as an example then uh, skill related on your muscular system you get agility that's the ability to change direction quickly or body position quickly speed will be moving traveling a distance in a short space of time like it's, it's very fast like 100 meter run it's an example of, of speed then you get power so it would be the ability to lift something or to explode like if you are on a squat and you jump up then that's explosive power you've got a, a weight and you you know they call it power lifting then we move on you've got balance balance will be the ability to keep your body a, 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 a sort of to control your body a, whatever you're doing i'll make an example if you are doing <clears throat> if you are throwing a punch the ability to be able to throw with the correct technique is part of balance standing on one leg is part of balance and so on and so forth Reaction time will be a, 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 the, the amount of time it takes you to react to, to whatever it is. A, a, I don't want to say it's a stimulus. A, there is something they, they call a, an agility ball. A, an agility ball, it's a ball that has got a, some bumps. When you throw it on the ground, it changes direction. Now, can you see this? Okay something i'm going to say so when they throw it if it goes that way the amount of time it takes you to react to get it is is very important okay yeah and then i want to come back now these components they never work in isolation the reason being the first example is going to be that agility ball when you throw that agility ball it's agility so you are going forward or you are in one place but if you throw it it goes that way you need reaction time to react and then you also need agility to be able to go there do you understand so you you are able to react and you need agility to change that direction i will feel them and then uh, yes now let's bring this to cut your box this is this is a very short episode let's bring this to cut your box so cardio box strength is not much there's not a lot of strength in cardio box unless you are going to do conditioning at the end of the class then that's when you get your strength okay so if you are let's say asked to to judge a cardio box component when it comes to strength there is not much that is being done unless ke, you really want that strength if there's strength on the components let's say i'm a judge and there's strength on the components then you can ask the instructor to do strength exercises then you get endurance cardio respiratory and muscular endurance now that is where box there's a lot of it cardio respiratory your heart is going to pump throughout the class as you are a, a, a punching your heart will be pumping blood oxygenated blood to the muscles so you need when you've got that uh, if actually let me say it builds that heart to be able to do that over and over and over again and then it also can it's also muscular endurance because to punch you are a punch your deltoid is, is working your and your anterior deltoid deltoid is working is working and then you also have an extension of the elbow which means your triceps are also working and then on the rotation you are working all over here your ah me and forgetting muscles your anterior serratus serratus anterior it's working on that rotation and extension of the arm your your torso your your 
your internal and external obliques are working. So when you are punching, you are working on various number of muscles. So now these muscles, they contract. And also on your hips, uh, your, your, your quads are also working on, on everything because you are working the whole body as you are punching and twisting and everything. But the point I'm trying to make is that contraction and ex- a, a contraction and expanding of muscles throughout the time that is muscular endurance. Hence why it is important when people are punching to go through the range of motion, kicks range of motion. Why? Because the more range you get, the more muscles you recruit in the movement. The more range you do, the more muscles you recruit to do the movement. That means now when you are done doing the class, you didn't just do the heart, you also did all the muscles that are involved. They also work because if I'm doing this, maybe I'm only recruiting 20% of the muscle fibers. But if I'm going all the way, now I also recruit the stabilizers because here there's no need to stabilize anything. And I also recruit the synergists because they are these muscles must help one another to create this movement. And then we we go, I think I've already done flexibility by explaining that one, the muscular endurance. And then we go to, and also flexibility will help you as you are doing these movements to cut against injury. Agility is not much uh, in cardio box because the movement the movements uh, are almost like drills unless now you are going to bring a little bit of of uh, this uh, new box it does have a lot of changing directions more of them so they also do more agility than the original box or the old box which is more about uh, 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 endurance and 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 a bit of flexibility or other people will call it more uh, mobility because now you are yeah you <laughs> so uh, and then speed not that much no not really power unless you're going to start jumping when you're doing your class there's not a lot of power and, and balance of course is very important because now when you're doing when you're doing box yeah, you need technique and that's that's balance that's where now balance is tested because to throw a, a proper controlled punch you need to have balance to throw a proper controlled kick you need to have balance so yes that's that's my episode 16 guys there's not a lot that i have to say and yes i was i was just trying to bring this side of of things to to fitness, you know, to to this conversation that we're having of cardio box, and of course, there's not a lot left. Well, there's still a lot left, but these topics are going to come here and there. And of course, the more engagement we get, the better the podcast is going to be. Guys, I'm not going to be long on this episode. Thank you very much, and please comment down below. What did I get wrong? What did I get right? What everything? Remember, I am open to your feedback because uh, I am not the god of fitness nobody is the god of fitness and and I may get some of the things wrong and and I I, I acknowledge I acknowledge that do not do not think that I will feel often offended if you give me feedback and that I know I know you are going to hit me for this one but but let's go back let's have the conversation again and yes the, some of the things that Emakwala spoke to me about unfortunately I didn't do that much research on them actually I didn't do research after we spoke uh, but I just have to highlight these things we've got a conversation where we are talking about the shoulders when it comes to box technique he feels that being in that position is not scientifically uh, 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 good for someone who's doing fitness and 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 then but fighters will tell you that's the correct position 
to protect yourself. Now, now you are dealing with people who are not fighting per se. So what is scientifically correct for them? How, what is the best way for them? So I'm going to leave that question with you guys because I, I'm not going to have answers for everything. And man, lastly, I do, I do check a lot on the, on the things that are happening around. I'm clued up, but after speaking to, to, to Master Tsebo, he, he said to me, he feels that the podcast is better off if it's based on things fitness uh, uh, across everything than it being based on the things that are happening around us because it could be mistaken for an attack on what other people are doing whereas this has nothing to do with Abanyabantu in Dabayenzai and I acknowledge that I thank uh, Mr. Tsepo a lot for that advice because going forward this podcast is just going to be about fitness be it uh, well my understanding of the things and and I'm not going to try to be what I'm not and, and I'm not going to remember everything that's in the book but most of the things will just come from my understanding and I want to say it as raw as it is and of in the past podcasts i think that a lot of times i i tried to sound like i tried to adopt uh, uh, the style of the other guys like omak g that i looked up to and, and all these things that that they are doing but like that's not me you know this is this is me when I'm saying the past podcast, I'm not talking about this podcast, fitness podcast with Kuzi. I'm talking about the pod other podcasts that we did. And 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 now that we're doing this one, I think that I feel that we have found that Elendo. Since when I found myself, uh, and and I can say I'm learning to articulate myself better. As in theta, I think that having not done this for a very long time, not having been like in front of people where I only have to talk and most of the time I had to do stuff. So I have to relearn in Lela and Kwazi Ugunabangay and Titis into the Titis so that Abandu Bagwazu understand. I'm still a bit rusted, but at least now I'm doing a lot of talking and I'm getting back into the gist of things. And thank you very much, guys, for watching these episodes because if you guys were not watching, I don't know if I would still be motivated to continue doing this podcast. On that note, guys, and thank you very much. I hope the sound is going to be better because we're using this mic now. It's a very basic mic. And yes, man, that's the end of today's episode. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Add on what I've said. Remember, by doing this podcast, I'm just opening up a dialogue. The rest now is that for us to take it to the next level, bring in more questions. That way, I am able to bring in more topics on the things that you ask, on the things that we talk about. Yes, guys, on that note, shots are fired. See ya. Yes. Thank you very much. Peace.